Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a 60 seconds challenge video recommended by you guys. I said in the last episode of 60 seconds that you guys should recommend me some challenges and the one that I like the most, I'll do it in the next episode. And this is the one that I like the most, Ted only. How cool and insane would that be to just survive with Ted? So I'm gonna try to scavenge all the items I need to be able to survive because I won't be able to go outside and you know scavenge shit myself so I have to get all the material I need and hopefully I get rescued the son mother and daughter they're all gonna be barbecue chicken baby so let's do it all right I'm definitely gonna need a bunch of food first aid kit because just in case I get sick or get hurt or something a lot of water because I won't be able to go outside uh, a gun just in case raiders come flashlight map everything all that all the shenanigans right there Maybe I'll get pancake, hopefully. So I definitely need the flashlight to get pancake. All right, let's do this. That map, because I got to see. All right, get the flashlight. All right, I'll definitely be able to get a bunch of stuff. Get that. Come on. Sorry, wife and kids. I'm leaving you. No, I'm not going to get you, Timmy. I want the gas mask. I'm sorry, Timmy. I'm leaving you. You're going to be barbecue chicken, baby. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. That book. That. The radio, for sure. Get the radio, for sure. Come on. Let's go. Let's get all this stuff. God, I'm, like, hesitating. I don't know what to get. All right. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The bullets. Come on, come on. Get everything. Just get all that food. You need it, baby. Or else you're done. You're done, son, if you don't get all that shit. Where's the kitchen? Where the fuck is the kitchen? Come on. Uh, oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, make it John! Oh my god, he didn't even make it! Fuck everybody's barbecue chicken! All you can eat prime ribs, baby! <laughs> this is empty shelter, challenge accepted! Oh my god, let's redo that. I just realized if I'm not going outside, I don't really need the gas mask. Well, unless I'm fixing the ventilation system. Okay, never mind. Alright, let's go scavenge. Alright, got everything I need. I'm sorry, wife and kids! I love you! Have fun being barbecue chicken, baby! Oh, Let's do this! The Ted Only Challenge has begun. Day one. Ted is all by himself. Oh, man. This is gonna be fun. When fire rains down from the sky, it's every man for himself. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans, we'll sleep on cans, we'll even talk to cans. And fuck cans because our wife isn't here. Some of us already do. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. This is the best stock shelter we've ever seen. Alright, cool. Same rules apply. I'm going to feed him and give him a drink every five days. Oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be exciting. Let's see how long I last and even if I get rescued. He went crazy already? Why? It's because his wife and kids are barbecue chicken, baby. Planning far ahead is usually a good strategy. But for now, we should be more interested in our plan for water rationing. Ted has gone crazy. Uh, I guess, you know, your family <laughs> burning in hell is is a reason for you to go crazy. I can I can see that. Alright, we heard something about supply drops on the radio. This just might be what we need to survive and it's supposed to happen near our house. Shall we go and find out if it's really happening? Don't have a gas mask, don't care. Oh man, I hope Ted isn't crazy for long. God, maybe I'll find Pancake and he won't get crazy. Alright, everybody cross your fingers and hope we get Pancake. It was too dangerous to go out there without any protection, so we decided to stay indoors and listen to the radio. The static is so relaxing. Where is water when Ted needs it? Alright, gonna ration supplies later. I'm never going to prepare to scavenge. Hear that? No, because no one is talking. Not a word in hours. None at all. We can't just stare and stare at the walls. We need to do something about this. I agree. Let's listen to the radio, Ted. It's just me and you, buddy. We're gonna get out of this alive. Me and you, we're the best of buds now. It's just the two of us, or three of us, because you got Mr. Sako right there. Ah, how fortunate. We took the radio with us. We can probably listen to some music. They still play music out there, don't they? Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. Not yet. Stay patient, my man. Stay patient. Oh, this is going to be fun. I'm like laughing my ass off inside my head. Just Ted by himself. <laughs> It's hard not to work considering our current situation. Some days we're still struggling to deal with the shelter life, but we can't lose hope. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. Don't worry, I got you. Drink soup. Nobody's going outside. 
Someone is very serious about banging on the hatch. We are scared to open it, but it might be some good news, right? We would gladly welcome any friendly face, even if it was our neighbor, Ned. We're pretty sure that if it was any reason why our town got bombed, he would be that reason. Shall we open it? Uh, Damn, this early? Do you think Ted can defend himself? It was like raiders? Nah, I don't think so. Maybe it was the military, I don't know. That would have been crazy if it was. Ugh, he's still crazy. What the fuck, Ted? The banging stopped after a while and whoever was behind the door left. We have no idea who it was. Will we ever find out? Who is this we were talking about? It's Ted. Ted, will I ever find out? Ted is not complaining today. At least not very much. Alright, nobody's gonna eat. It's been a while since we showered. The smell in this tiny shelter is as far from roses as it can get. We had thought of washing ourselves. Too bad we didn't grab any soap along the way. But maybe we can make do with something else? I heard that the ammunition is the best source of being clean. Because if you're dirty, it increases the chance of you getting sick. Somebody told me that, and I just want to say thank you, buddy. Alright, dirty or not, it's the smell that's the biggest issue here. How do we deal with that? Well, we've got some spare ammo, so why not use the gunpowder to kill the smell? Let's rub it in. Sounds like a brilliant idea. Ted's mental health worries us all, but we don't know how to help him. Alright, got a couple more days before I give you some food, Ted. What was that, a rat? Rats are usually smaller than cats. And what's with the double tail? We can't let that thing get to our supplies. Hell no, we won't go. Hell no, we won't go. Wait, no, the rats are saying that. Our cans are saved. Too bad for the hairy mutant. Guess we're still top of the food chain. Good for us. Ted doesn't drink anything. He won't last long. Don't worry, Ted. You'll last a little bit longer. I know you will. Two more days, baby. I give him about 30 days before he dies. 30 days. All right, it's day 10. Time to give him a drink and some soup. What else is there? Anything cool? We're not big fans of our strange smelling shelter. When we start to smell something burning, we quickly realized how much we prefer the nothing is on fire scent it had before. A fire! We need to put it out and save our supplies. We don't have time to save them all. Uh, let's pick the Boy Scout book because that can repair a bunch of things. How the fuck did we start a fire anyway? It was Timmy. He did it from the grave. He did it from hell. Oh, God. All right, we lost the radio and the first aid kit. Nothing going on with Ted. Nothing new anyway. Day 14. Hear that? Noises coming from below. This is probably the right time to check out the manhole in the corner. The one that's been locked tight ever since we got to the shelter. Well, if something's down there, it's probably not alive because it's been locked tight. So nothing new got in there to eat and drink water because that's what you need to survive, right? So I don't think we'll be in any danger if we check. We'll see. Last time there was like a man-eating crocodile. If we didn't have that flashlight, we'd probably be a meal for, for something that was down there. We're not sure, but its eyes look very reptilian. Very vicious and very, very hungry. Was that a dinosaur? Every day Ted is becoming more and more absent-minded. Since early this morning, he has been completely committed to reading a newspaper, or rather something that has seemed to think it was a newspaper, our toilet tissue. He seemed very interested in it, so we didn't want to drag him away from his reading. And he fucked up the map. What did he do, make a hole in it and stick his dick in it? Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. Well, it is day 15, so give him some what's up? Give him some soup. All right, anything interesting? We never thought we'd live to see a dancing cockroach. All right, use the Boy Scout book to kill that dancing cockroach. Put that ass to bed. Day 21. Ted isn't acting normally. Sometimes his behavior is pretty disturbing. You know, I don't think you can survive with just Ted because he goes crazy the moment like you step into the shelter. I think he needs someone in his family. <laughs> Cause look at him. He's been crazy ever since day two. What the fuck? And he like ruined everything. He even ruined my map. I don't even have a map on the wall anymore. There's nothing going on with Ted. Nothing new anyway. All right. Day 24. Hear that? It sounds like a herd of animals are stampeding just above our heads, across what used to be our beautiful lawn. They are not getting away with that. It might be a perfect opportunity to get some fresh food. Who should go hunting? Hmm, I wonder which of the four should go hunting. <laughs> Hell no, I'm not sending Ted out there. We have a bunch of food. We don't need all that shit. Let's go, day 25, baby. We can make it, Ted. Just me and you. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two. We need medical supplies, and what we have is a bad joke. Time to do something about it. That bug spray is just standing there. Why don't we use it to make drugs? Yes. Let's use it to make drugs. I think it's a 100% chance that the bug spray... Aw, oh, what? Where did you go, Ted? What the fuck? What do you know? 
Combining American innovation and deadly bug spray can result in just enough drugs to replenish an empty first aid kit. Ted could not resist the madness that was consuming him any longer. It seems that today, following the advice of his sock puppet, he left the bunker and went in an unknown direction, never to be seen again. We hope Ted and the cruel puppet that took him away from us will have lots of fun together. We didn't make it. These are our final words, and our final advice to anyone who reads this. Obscured writing. Really? Okay, so... Ted goes insane the moment you don't bring your family? How are you supposed to survive with just Ted? I guess that was a failed challenge, because if Ted goes crazy the moment you go in the shelter, there's no way you can pass this challenge. So if anybody else has any more challenges they'd want me to do, put it in the comments below. And the one I like the most, I am going to do it in the next 60 seconds challenge video. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And join the Cub Scouts today, because why wouldn't you? Didn't you see? I tried my best with Ted. He was just being a stubborn daddy dick. So I couldn't do anything about it. Like I said, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. I'll see you guys in the next 60 seconds video. I love you guys, and I'm out.